What's up champ, BC Bigavella here, about to show you part two of our second video with a freelance offense out the 3-2 set. This one has to deal with motion cuts and the last one we did space the floor. So this time around we're going to get some more movement in the offense. So uh, let's get started. Right now we're going to see if we can get this tip with we'll go tight. I'm going to give it off the wall. Let me uh... Set it up here. Matter of fact, good move. We gotta get Nene in there, make it official. And it's already on motion cut. So basically, what do we do? Call a play here. Okay. To get this started, you wanna pass it to your wings. Chill for a second, and then you'll see the movement starts. So as you pass it to the wing, you can see that the middleman will always cut to the basket then curl from the wing. So, you know, you can basically run this for a minute. Stall some clock, you know, since you got 24 seconds, you probably maybe could do it once fully through, twice at the most, just to get some movement before your man comes around that curl and you feed the post man. That's how I'm saying that he didn't even try to post up. So you gotta watch for that. You gotta wait for your man to get in post position. So well, right now we're gonna slow up a little bit because they always run these transition breaks if you're running with the Wizards. So you gotta stall them out for a minute so you can get your offense, your freelance offense started. So this time as Wall comes around the curl, we're gonna try to feed it to go outside in the post here. And once that happens, you'll see the floor spaced out so you can go to work in the post. I don't know why the hook shot ain't come out right there, but I guess we was too bodied up. I know that wasn't all because I just shot that three. Man, since the post patch, this strap ain't going to hand with the CPU. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and try to get Wall back into the post up with go outside. Once again. And you see it double down a little bit. You can repost, wait for the cut through to finish, then you can go one on one. Another thing you can do is, like in the last video, you can always call the manual pick and roll out this set. And we'll do that again. We'll go ahead and walk it up, make sure they don't go into that transition offense. Chill for a second. That time he's perfect, but we'll call that pick. And then you can always post out of that one. Oh, whoop, move. Another good thing about this offense is your big man, both of them are always close to the basket. So even if you miss an open jump shot or from the perimeter, both of your bigs are in a good rebounding position to get the offensive board. And we're going to start them out one more time. And just, you know, so you won't get too robotic, you can always chill for a minute and let it regroup. So you can work it to the other side. Just to keep your, off, your defenders off balance. Because you don't want to keep running the same, giving them the same look. I don't want to mix it up a little bit. In case you want to burn clock, you can go through the cycle a couple of times. But you only got 24. So you might not want to play with it too much. And then, of course, you can always call quick pick and rolls, just like you did in Space the Floor. Go ahead and uh, let these guys score. And that's basically all you can do. Like I said before, if you got a weak wing or a good uh, post player, I mean a, a good wing three-point shooter, 
you know, you always want to put your sorry three-point shooter at the top. So you can have your snipers on the wings when you feed the post. And uh, the next video what we'll do is show you how to get your perimeter guys more into the game out of this 3-2 set. Right now we're just working on a big man. So we'll just come down for the last time. Get our big man involved. This time we'll go to Nene. Another thing about this offense is whatever post player that you really want to feed, you pass it to the opposite wing guy. So right now Nene is on the, I get the left low block. So you want to pass it to Bill so you can feed Nene. And then vice versa if you want him to feed, go outside. Wait for the cut through. You can pass it there if it's open. If not, You can go to work one on one. So uh, that's it so far for uh, three two freelance offense. The most was cuts. Next video, what we'll do is show you how to get your wings and your point guard more into the game. So uh, this is uh, DC Baker Valley. You can catch me on uh, Google Plus at WizardsCoach2K.com, and I'm out.